everyone a very good morning to all of you how are you all i welcome you once again to another session of rbi 247 whereby on a regular basis we try to discuss the current financial happening around us yes i am gulapsa your mentor and i welcome you once again to this session but before starting that if you have still not downloaded the app you can do so by going on to the google play store so what do we have for today so today we are going to talk about pradhan mantri uh, pradhan mantri that is our prime minister mr modi has virtually launched 75 digital banking units iske alawa we'll also talk about imf so we'll talk about certain charts that IMF has released in the World Economic Outlook. तो उसको थोड़ा सा समझने की कोशिश करेंगे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट न्यूज विच सेज दैट पी एम मोदी हैज लॉन्च द सेवेंटी फाइव डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स Now, if you are following the news and the RBI two four seven regularly, then we have talked about digital banking units. These are nothing but just a banking outlet. So, जितने भी हमारे banks हैं, all of these commercial banks, all the scheduled commercial banks, they are eligible if provided they have certain experience in the digital sector, in the digital banking sector, be it mobile banking sector, then they are eligible to open up a banking outlet. और अ ब्रांच विच वुड बी एंटायरली डिजिटल तो आप ब्रांच या बैंकिंग आउटलेट खोल सकते हो बाय द नेम ऑफ डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स ना इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स इट वॉज फर्स्ट मैंशन इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2023 बजट तो 2023 का जो बजट आया था इन दैट आर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर मिस्टर आर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन है टॉक्ड अबाउट कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिंग और ओपनिंग अप 75 डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स इन 75 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स सो 75 डीबीयूज इन 75 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स इन ऑर्डर टू कमेमोरेट द 75 इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस तो हमारी जो 75th इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस आएगी तब तक हमें 75 डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स चाहिए एंड दिस वुड इंश्योर डिजिटल इंक्लूसिवनेस एंड फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूसिवनेस इन द कंट्री एंड रिसेंटली पी एम मोदी हैज इन यूग्रेटेड दिस सेवेंटी फाइव डी बी यूज इन सेवेंटी फाइव डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड ही ऑल्सो सेट दैट इट इज गोइंग टू इंश्योर efficiency as well as convenience for the customers thereby providing a big step or it is a big step towards an ease of living for the common citizens so all the common citizens even key especially the rural areas will be catered to through this dbus and all of the services be it passbook printing atm card cash deposits withdrawal opening up of account taking up of retail loans msmes loans opening up any kind of savings account fixed deposits recurring account or any kind of mobile banking activities fastic activities debit card credit card issuances as well as government schemes all of these will be covered and bill payments will be covered through this digital banking units dbus or kya hote hain we have studied first and foremost when the guidelines were issued but in today's video we'll be talking about that in very वेरी समराइज वे ठीक है नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट वट पी एम मोदी हैज टू से अबाउट डी बी यूज ही ऑल्सो सेट दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम ब्रिंगिंग ईज ऑफ लिविंग फॉर द सिटीजन दिस इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग ब्रिंग और ओपन अप अ होल न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज कंबाइनिंग द फाइनेंशियल पार्टनरशिप्स विथ डिजिटल पार्टनरशिप्स सो अलॉन्ग विद द फाइनेंशियल पार्टनरशिप्स and with the digital partnerships we are going to transform the indian economy and this is surely going to boost the credit growth in this rural sector and this dbus if we talk about the function they will be providing maximum services from this minimum digital infrastructure so this dbus will be set up as a fixed place of business or wahan se either by self service or by an assisted service you could make or you could take advantage of all the services which are mentioned here so jitne bhi services maine aapko bataye chahe wo digital related ho ya asset side ke ho rbi ke balance sheet banks ke balance sheet ke ya fir banks ke asset side ke liabilities kya ho jayengi opening of account issuance of debit card credit card and issuance of debit card if you talk about the asset side of banks balance sheet it would be providing any kind of loan especially 
the retail loans, the MSMEs, the small loans, and all of these loans will be entirely digital. Matlab application se leke dispersal tak. From the application to the dispersal, everything is gonna be online. So, aisa karke, it is going to obviously prove, prove to be very efficient as well as very convenient for customers like us. ठीक है एंड वी टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल सर्विसेज चाहे वो ई के वाई सी हो या वीडियो के वाई सी हो और गेटिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ अदर डिजिटल सर्विसेज बिल पेमेंट्स एक्सेट्रा कुड बी डन यूजिंग दिस डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द फैसिलिटीज दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड आई हैव मैंशन मेनी ऑफ देम रेस्ट आर मैंशन हेयर यू कैन रीड After the lecture, the PDFs is to please read. कर लेना all of these I have mentioned. तो आप nominate कर सकते हो, taxes pay कर सकते हो, insurance के लिए apply कर सकते हो. You can even transfer funds. You can make investments. You can apply for loan. All of these services and even you can also ask or ask the banks to stop the payment payment from the checks issued. To stop payment instruction for checks issued. All of these could be done. ठीक है If we talk about uh, the launch of the seventy-five DBUs, then as of today or as of now, eleven public sector banks and twelve pri private sector banks and one small finance bank have established brick and mortar DBU outlet outlets across the country. So, यहाँ पे एक चीज बहुत important है जो आपको notice करनी चाहिए. That is, these DBUs can be opened up only by scheduled commercial banks. and small finance banks rest other kind of commercial banks such as regional rural banks rrb theek hai then we have the payment banks right the payment banks as well as the local area banks these are excluded from opening up any kind of dbus to wo apna digital banking outlet nahi khol sakte so this is the exclusion list and you should remember this so who all can open this dbus schedule commercial banks and small finance banks who cannot regional rural banks payment banks and local area banks theek hai and they have established the brick and mortar dbu outlets so this this means this is going to be a place aisa koi place hoga whereby this will provide you with the avenue with the opportunity to settle or to interact or to take advantage of the variety of digital banking facilities using this technology ठीक है इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ डीबीयूज ओपन देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एसबीआई हु इज द लार्जेस्ट लेंडर राइट द लार्जेस्ट लेंडर इन द कंट्री एसबीआई हैज ओपन 12 डीबीयूज एंड एचडीएफसी बैंक व्हिच इज द लार्जेस्ट प्राइवेट लेंडर हैज ओपन 4 डीबीयूज सिंपल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट द बेनिफिट यहां पे सबसे पहले डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स में सबसे मेन फंक्शन और द मेन बेनिफिट वुड बी डीपनिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन बिकॉज फाइनेंश वी वेर नॉट एबल टू फाइनेंशियली इंक्लूड द रूरल एरिया नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ डी बी यूज दीज विल प्रोवाइड एन एवेन्यू इन ऑर्डर टू कैटर टू द नीड्स ऑफ द रीज रूरल एरियाज एंड द सेमी अर्बन एरियाज ठीक है सो ऑल काइंड ऑफ बैंकिंग बैंकिंग फेसिलिटीज वुड बी रीच टू द रूरल areas and it is going to provide an easy access to the government schemes so jitne bhi government schemes hai you will be able to make access to those schemes using this dbus apart from that this dbu is also going to provide you with the facility to boost credit flow into the economy credit flow kaise hoga so from from the process of applying for the loan msme loan le lo for the rural sector or small retail loans so from the process of application of the loan till the process or till the time the loan is actually disbursed into the account of the customer this entire process is going to be online to bar bar banks ke chakkar lagane ki zarurat nahi hai you can directly go to this dbus wahan pe if you are financially literate enough then you can make then you can directly apply yourself or if you want certain assistance then you can make use of the assistance facility in order to in order to make or in order to apply for this kind of loan and this is also going to increase digital financial literacy to agar kisi ko apna mobile recharge karna hai ya fir electricity bill pay karni hai they need not go to some other person they can directly hop up to the nearest dbu and make the payment bill payments online using this dbu
ठीक है सर्विसेज ऑफर एफ आई एज आई हैव टॉक्ट सेविंग्स क्रेडिट इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इंश्योरेंस मिलेगी क्रेडिट की बात करें तो एंड टू एंड डिजिटल प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ स्मॉल टिकट लोन्स रिटेल लोन्स एंड एम एस एम ई लोन तो दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ डी बी यूज ओपन एस बी आई एज आई मैंशन हैज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ डी बी यूज दैट इज एट ट्वेल्व दैन बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा एट एट यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एट सिक्स कैनरा एट फाइव पंजाब एट फोर एंड एच डी एफ सी एंड आई सी आई सी आई द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड हाइएस्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर लेंडर हैव ओपन फोर ब्रांचेस ऑफ डी बी यूज ईच देन वी हैव एक्सिस बैंक एट थ्री एंड इंडियन बैंक एट ठीक है तो दीज आर जस्ट जनरल इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर यू गाइज इसको याद करना जरूरी नहीं है नो नेवर दिस इज जस्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि आपको पता होना चाहिए ना मोड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज शुड बी नोन टू यू सो दिस डी बी यूज विल बी अवेलेबल ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज तो अगर आप रात के बारह बजे भी जाओगे डी बी यू के अंदर देन यू विल बी एबल टू टेक दी टेक दी एडवांटेज ऑफ द फैसिलिटी विच इज बिंग प्रोवाइडेड बाई दिस डी बी यू तो ये मोड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज याद होना चाहिए इट इज नॉट ओनली सेल्फ सर्विस बट देर विल बी पर्सन टू असिस्ट यू नाउ द सेल्फ सर्विस मोड विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन अवेलेबल इन टू थ्री सिक्स फाइव बट दिस इज नॉट द केस विद द असिस्टेड वन बिकॉज द पर्सन स्टेइंग द पर्सन हुई प्रोवाइड यू विद द असिस्टेंस मे नॉट बी अवेलेबल फॉर द एंटायर टाइम ठीक है Let's move forward and talk about little bit about the digital banking units. If we talk about its origin, ki baat kare, then first financial year 2023 ka jo budget aaya tha, in that our finance minister had talked about opening up of 75 DBUs in 75 districts in order to commemorate the 75 years of Indi- India's independence. And in order to give effect to this, RBI in April 2022 issued. guidelines for digital banking units and this guidelines were issued in consultation with the report from a working group working group that was constituted by RBI and it had various stakeholders of banks including the indian banks association to ek working group banaya tha jisme indian bank association iba was a major part and based on their recommendation the guidelines for dbus were issued the iba is again important to be remembered theek hai agar dbu ka koi aap se puche ki ye hota kya hai mota mota aapko samajh aa gaya ye ek tarike ka digital banking outlet hai digital branch hai kisi bhi bank ki theek hai और वैसे ही बात करें क्या ये सारा ऑनलाइन होगा नीड नॉट नेसेसरी इट इज अ फिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ बिजनेस यूनिट दैट मींस इसका एक फिजिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अवेलेबल होगा बट बिकॉज ऑफ द यूज ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी यू विल बी एबल टू मेक और डिलीवर और मेक यूज ऑफ द डिजिटल बैंकिंग सर्विसेज एंड फैसिलिटीज यूजिंग द डी सो वॉट इज इट इट इज अ स्पेशलाइज फिक्स पॉइंट बिजनेस यूनिट और हब एंड with a certain minimum digital infrastructure so you will have digital infrastructure and for delivering digital banking products and services as well as servicing existing financial products and services both in self service and assisted mode this is important theek hai ab aap bolo ki mobile services bhi to hain dbus ka kya important hai why is this actually required so the answer to this would be this dbu since it makes use of the financial technology fintech ka itna zyada use hota hai the products and services that they will come up is more innovative more simpler and more cost effective and it is going to provide more of convenience to the customers and this is the reason why rbi has come up with this dbu guideline and it has finally been officially launched by our prime minister now who all are going to set up this dbu as i have talked about this are to be set up by domestic commercial banks so jitne bhi domestic scheduled commercial banks hain and small finance banks hain they are able to they can set up this dbus provided they have some digital banking experiences and they are permitted by rbi to open dbus in tier 1 to tier 6 centers however rrbs payment banks and local area banks are excluded from this list i hope this is simple let's move forward and talk about this very second news and this is basically certain charts so imf recently had come up with the october version of the world economic outlook the world economic outlook lekar aaya tha whereby imf has actually downgraded india's growth 
तो इंडिया की जो ग्रोथ प्रोजेक्शन थी दैट हैज बिन डाउन ग्रेडेड फ्रॉम सेवन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट टू सिक्स पॉइंट एट परसेंट सो द रेड कलर्ड बार शोज इंडिया ऑरेंज शोज एमर्जिंग मार्केट एंड डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमीज एंड दिस इज दर्ल्ड आउटपुट एंड आई एम एफ इज ऑल्सो रिटेन द ग्लोबल ग्रोथ आउटपुट एट थ्री पॉइंट टू तो थ्री पॉइंट टू पे रखा है एंड देन यू कैन सी दैट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आई एम एफ प्रोजेक्शन आर ग्रोथ प्रोस्पेक्टिव हैज एक्चुअली श्रिंक द डिफरेंशियल हैज एक्चुअली श्रिंक राइट तो ये बताने की कोशिश कर रहा है ना यूजिंग दिस देर वॉज एन आर्टिकल इन द न्यूज पेपर बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड एंड वेयर बाई इट टॉक अबाउट इट टॉक अबाउट सर्टन चार्ट विच शोर विच शोज दैट आई एम एफ वॉट आर द रीजन और वॉट आर द रैशनल बिहाइंड आर बी आई बिहाइंड आई एम एफ एंड सेंट्रल बैंक अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड वार्निंग ऑन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी बाय पीपल अराउंड अस आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ स्लो डाउन इन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी ठीक है तो इस चार्ट से ये वेरी इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट आर ग्लोबल आउटलुक द ग्लोबल ग्रोथ हैज बिन रिमेन हैज बिन फोरकास्टेड टू बी ए थ्री पॉइंट टू परसेंट India's growth has been down growed down graded further at 6.8% and if we talk about the emerging market economies and the developing economies they have done slightly better from 3.6 to 3.7%. Now question for you would be what are the reasons why IMF has actually downgraded India's growth rate? Why India's growth rate ko downgrade kiya gaya hai? first and foremost according to me with will be the amount of inflation that we are having in a country and the uh, simultaneous increase in the policy rate by rbi by the monetary policy committee so this has led to certain kind of uh, delusion and also people are also the fpis are also taking out money from india so if investors lose their confidence then obviously our growth is going to go down rest other reasons you need to figure out theek hai the second it talks about is the higher inflation globally so i hope you all know that there is a trade off between gdp your growth and inflation theek hai inflation aur growth ki ek cut a trade off rehti hai if you have more of growth uh either you can control inflation or you can increase your growth so if you see here this talks about the uh, 2021 inflation and 2022 projection is showed by the orange bar if we talk about india hamari india ki jo inflation hai it is projected to be higher from 5.5% to 6.9% you all know the reasons the financial tightening the global slowdown the global disruptions supply chain disruptions the war consequences apart from that developed countries such as us coming up with financial restrictions financial tightening all of these has resulted in higher inflation if we talk about developing and emerging country then it is it is also so inflation has been increasing for all the country and if we talk about europe then and europe latin america and the caribbean island then their inflation is in double digits so this is again going to be very very some because as you all know they there are chances that these countries might face with the problem such as in hyper inflation etc and this is surely going to affect the economy in a larger way theek hai the third is the third talks about lower indian government revenue so they talk about the pre pandemic level and the post pandemic level so if you talk about imf's data imf's collection on indian government revenue now there are two graphs don't be confused the downward graph talks about the general government revenue it talks about the projections and this talks about the average to so, ye average baat karta hai from 2014 to 2026 and this, this talks about the general government revenue it says that before the pandemic 2019 me if you see then in 2019 our government revenue was around 19.9% but if we talk about post pandemic 2022 the year in which we are then it is just around 19% and it will actually take time it will actually go by 2026 only then we will be able to reach to our uh, 
प्री पेंडेमिक लेवल्स 19.9 को पहुंचने के लिए एक्चुअली हमें 2026 तक जाना पड़ सकता है एंड वी नीड टू वेट अप टू देयर सो बिकॉज ऑफ द डिक्रीज इन द गवर्नमेंट रेवेन्यू आर गवर्नमेंट रेवेन्यू इज वेरी लो द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू ऑट टू बोरोइंग ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज ऑब्वियसली इट टॉक्स अबाउट एक्सपेंडिचर इफ इट टॉक अबाउट गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर देन इट सेज दैट If we talk about pre-pandemic, it was twenty-seven point four percent, but because of the pandemic and because of other conditions, um, the highest, the peak was in during the COVID nineteen pandemic. But still, now if we talk about, then it is our government expenditure is much higher. It is around twenty-nine percent. So our government revenue is around twenty-nine percent, and to reach the pre-pandemic level, we will have to. uh wait for another few years in order to reach to this pre pandemic level so what is the problem that we are facing the problem that we are facing is revenue is lower expenditure is higher and that is resulting in various very some fiscal deficit increase in fiscal deficit for the government for the country now this talks about fiscal balance what is fiscal balance fiscal balance talks about the the amount the amount of revenue that you are getting minus your expenditure or expenditure minus revenue that you are having so if we talk about pre pandemic level pre pandemic hamare kuch uh, itna percentage tha but now it is much worse 2022 ki baat karo to wo aur zyada worse ho gaya hai if it is was it was around uh, 7.5% now it is around Ten percent, ten percent of our GDP talks is only is the fiscal balance, and in order to reach the pre-pandemic level, we need to wait, or this can only be achieved only by twenty twenty six. So this is a worrisome situation for our for our country because revenue is not is has not been able to increase, and finally we have the financial conditions tightening. So. IMF has warned India. उन्होंने सबसे पहले this uh, graph talks about the amount of financial conditioning in areas such as Euro, United States and other advanced country. तो अगर इस diagram को आप देखो then you can see that from January 2022 financial tightening has actually increased. The countries all over the world have started increasing their repo rate, and this has made the cost of borrowing more costlier, right? And this is known as financial condition. And when borrowing is costlier, people are less attracted to take loans in order to boost investments, and that this is the reason why investment has been deteriorating. And because of lower investment, we are seeing a lower growth into the. country so this financial tightening has increased not only for united states and other advanced economies but also for euro area and india is also has been on the trajectory of increasing its policy repo rate making the cost of borrowings more costlier and this is actually a warning to india that it needs to look upon its financials its financial metrics in order to have a sustained growth into the economy so this was the two news that i wanted to discuss imf ke jo bhi humne news abhi discuss kiye hain the charts these are just important for your understanding aapke understanding ke liye hi important hai aisa nahi ki aapke rbi ke exam mein graphs puche jayenge no never but you should know first kya you should know the level of or all the projection given by imf so there are several other organizations that come up with the gdp growth estimate for india that you should know for india as well as for the world india or world ki jo bhi gdp growth estimate hai that is important and this there are questions specifically in phase 1 exam jahan pe directly question pucha jata hai what was the growth projection or the growth estimate as per IMF's World Economic Outlook report. Then you should be very thorough with the number. ठीक है. उसके अलावा you should also know that I M I M F के functioning के बारे में पढ़ो. What is I M F? International organization है, right? That talks about having economic development throughout the country. तो उसके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए. And what is the in general the global scenario? 
Now questions for you. The first question says the number of DBUs to be set up in India in order to commemorate the 75 years of independence of the country is simple. Now these questions you need to answer in the comment section. Aaj ka session bohat hi simple tha yet it is important. Questions aa sakte hain aapke exam mein. Second says who among the following can set up digital banking units? Again this is an important question. Please yaad rakho DBU saare nahi khol sakte. So you should be very clear. Agar aapne ye news nahi padha hooga then you, it will be difficult for you to answer here. Moving on to the third question which says we need to identify the incorrect statements with regard to the digital banking units. The first it says only banks with past digital banking experience are permitted to open DBUs in tier 1 to tier 3 centers. Now this tier wise categorization of the centers is done by RBI based on population. Now the question is that this was tier 1 to 3 tha, ya isse zyada tha, right? Moving forward to the next statement which says DBUs will be treated as banking outlets. I have talked about this. And third, it says these are specialized fixed business unit housing certain minimum digital infrastructure for delivering digital banking products and services in self-service mode only. Dekha, to aise questions tweak ho sakte hain exam mein. You need to be very careful while reading the questions. You need to identify the incorrect statements. Moving forward to the fourth question which says according to the IMF WEO report, what is the GDP growth projection for India? Again, it is simple and here I have tweaked a little bit. You need to tell me that from the previous est estimate, was it higher or lower and what was the actual percentage? What was the GDP in actual, actual percentage term? And finally, the fifth question for you, which says RBI came up with the guidelines on DBUs on the basis of recommendation of a working group formed by RBI. The working group constituted of. Now, this is again an important question. I have talked about this. You need to write it down. The correct answer to this question in the comment section. Now, the answers are already provided to you in the PDF. In case of any other doubt, you can write it down in the comment section. I'll be answering all your questions, all the queries that you are having in the comment section as well as make use of the discussion forum. So all the enrolled students make use of the discussion forum and post your doubts. We are all here to help you, to help you seal the examination. All the very best guys. Keep learning and till then, take care and bye-bye.